What's up, everyone? It's Hey John and Luna. Yes, Luna is doing pretty darn fantastic. It's moved up over 120% overnight. And I'm sure many of you waking up, the traders, are wondering what in the heck happened? Why is it moving up? Why didn't anyone tell me when to buy? Well, let me give you some information and some data to show you guys why and what ronson antoine give us a burn luna address we will burn it for you do Quan happily obliges and says here you go so we can see now that do Quan has given everyone a burn address it could just be any wallet he made up and that's fine this is where all of the terra lunas will go and currently we're seeing people actually burning as in giving away their Terra Luna monies to this burn wallet. This is fantastic because this tells you that people are starting to believe in the Terra Luna project. We're seeing people throwing in 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever it may be, and that can equate to millions of Luna. The reason why this is fantastic is because Terra Luna 2.0, it's going to be a community driven protocol, as in the community owns the protocol there will be no more lfg where they can dictate and control everything because as you know there will be no more ust so there isn't a need for it but what is important here is that even though the community has gotten over the head over the face over the counter but they still decide to get back up and said you know what i will fight another day I will do my best for my investment and I want to become a lunatic and I want to help preserve the Terra Luna community. And the people are doing exactly that. And here is the proof. People are putting their money where their mouth is. Okay, folks, here we are. This is the Terra Luna wallet. And you can see right here, folks, Luna has 223.89 million at 1,795 transactions as of this recording. You can see here, folks, on May 21 and May 22. On May 21, there were 410 burns. And now, on May 22, there is 1,391 transactions as of this recording. So what we can see here is that people are starting to burn their Lunas voluntarily. And there is a movement right now. It's on Twitter. And you can see that there is a moment right now in the Twitter community where Burn Luna is starting to trend and is starting to gain momentum. People are rallying and people are doing their part to help their investment. This is what you want to see in a community because the community is everything. Utility is great. Memes are great. But at the end of the day, without a strong community, in this case, the lunatics well terra luna would be nothing but even though everything has been taken away they're still choosing to be a half full instead of a half empty type of individual this is what you need in a cryptocurrency market where everything is considered bearish and what we need more than anything is for elmer fudd to come out and to take out the bears that is just my opinion in terms of what i would like to see happen crypto commander Cluckboy just burned 1 million luna and kept 3 million to hold till five dollars welcome to the revival welcome to the comeback kid this is one of many tweets of people giving up a certain portion of their portfolio to hopefully bring Terra Luna back up to its previous state of glory. Now, $5? That is not realistic. At the previous high, in terms of market cap, Terra Luna was around $67 billion. So to be realistic, you may see one sense if that can happen again. That could be a realistic goal, but at the same time, to get back all that buying power, well, it's going to take some epic buying proportions. I would say even biblical proportions. Simply put, Terra Luna has lost a lot of trust with the community and as it should, right? Because you were told one thing and all of a sudden, here you are. You went from a million dollars, now you're worth one dollar. So ladies and gentlemen, who would not lose some faith? I know I would. But even despite all of these 
horrendous events, Terra Luna is still continuing to drive forward. And the community, like I said before, it cannot be emphasized enough. The community is doing everything humanly possible in its power to help move forward. Stable Quan worked hard for four years to build Luna and UST to reach great heights. Let's not get angry at the guy when we were all happy when Luna reached over $100 per token. Mistakes happen, but he is a good man and committed to the community. I would agree with the sentiment. And you have to understand that even though Do Quan could be a little bit, I would say, forward in terms of his confidence, there is nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. Someone being confident and just saying, hey, this and that, that's fine. But of course, some of the things he said, it, well, it did not age well, simply put. And that's okay too, right? So now it's in your face, Do Quan. And that's okay too, because simply put, this is the way the world works. An eye for an eye, a cheek for a cheek. I mean, some folks may actually turn the cheek, but most folks are cheeky and they're ready to go back at you. And that's okay because people are going to do what they want to do. But now we're seeing Terra Luna move over 120%. Okay, folks, check out this Terra Luna chart. It's a one hour perspective. Terra Luna is currently around 18.7 as of this recording. And as you can see, it's moved up at a high of 122% in literally 18 hours. This is fantastic. And we're seeing bullish movement right now. The reason for the bullish movement, in my opinion, is because people are buying an anticipation of more burning. So you can see yesterday there was about 400 burns. And then today there was over 1400 burns as of this recording. And I suspect there'll be many more in the future and coming soon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to bode very well for Terra Luna. It's going to give people confidence and say, hey, you know what? Even if Do Kwon can't do it because all the LFG funds have been used, well, dang it, we as a community will do right for ourselves and for our fellow lunatic, and we will do our part and burn some Terra Lunas. And as you know, folks, this is purely and merely a exercise where people are volunteering to do this. I'm not telling you to do it, but people are saying, hey, you know what? Don't wait for someone. Do your part and do it now. And in my opinion, that is a fantastic battle cry. That is a fantastic war cry. That is amazing marketing. And once the word gets out, it will inspire a bit of hope. Make sure you guys like the video and smash that subscribe button if you're into that kind of thing. And most importantly, have an awesome day and I will catch you all on the next one. Shh.